Now, once again, um, if we're given an equation, in this case it's y equals x plus 2, we're going to use the table of values to graph the, um, this function. Now, first of all, we're going to, as before, create a table of values x and y, and we fill in with any values of x we want. In this case, we're going to use negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Uh, but we can use anything else. And once again, um, x is our input, and the y value depends on whatever input we choose. So the y value is the dependent variable. So we're going to now determine the y values by subbing in the appropriate x value. And first one, we're going to use the input of negative 2. So when our, our output is going to be equal to negative 2 plus 2, and so our y value is 0. So we put that into our table of values, so our first point is negative 2, 0. Next, our input is negative 1, and negative 1 increased by 2 is 1. So we put that in the table of values, and next one is our input is 0. So when we increase our input by 2, our output is going to be 0 plus 2, which is 2. And so we put that into our uh, table of values. Next, 1 is our input. And so 1 increased by 2, our output is our input plus 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. And we put that into our table of values. And once again, 2 plus 2, our output is equal to our input plus 2, so our output in this case is 4. All right, so we're going to now uh, plot these points on the Cartesian coordinate plane. And before we do, just want to note that every time x goes up by 1, the output, or y value, also increases by 1. And that when the input is 0, the output is equal to the constant. Now, first thing we have to do is plot the first point, which is negative 2, 0. And so we're going to plot that on the x-axis at negative 2. And we continue plotting our points. And next, we draw a line through the points, draw arrows at both ends. And the last thing we do is write the function, in this case, y equals x plus 2. And once again, notice here that every time we go over 1, the graph goes up 1, over 1, and up 1. 